Hello Libra! This is your astrology forecast for August. Well it's going to be a very busy month. So let me start out by saying that on the 2nd of August we've got Jupiter, planet of abundance and good fortune, joining conjunct to Mercury. And this is happening for you here in your 11th house. So if ever there was a time to get a message out something that's important to you, that means a lot to you, that you want to get into the world. This is the great day for it. It's also a wonderful day, Libras, for dreaming big, thinking big thoughts, really getting out of the weeds where some of you have been spending a lot of time lately, and just allowing your thoughts to run free. Because Mercury in this house um, would rule your dreams and your wishes, the 11th house, and so Mercury there is about thinking about the thoughts, and Jupiter says, make them big, don't limit yourself. And then on the 8th of August, Mercury again busy making a lovely trine with Uranus here in your 7th house of relationships, Libra. So Libra, this really could bring to you just all of a sudden a new relationship quite out of the blue, you never expected it. Could be a new romance, it could be suddenly a friend that you've known for a long time that you suddenly think to yourself, hmm, I really like this person, and suddenly you end up in a romantic relationship with them. But certainly this is an opportunity like for, almost like an inspiration, an inspirational thought like, ah, maybe I could go here and I might meet somebody new, for those of you who are looking. For those of you that are already in a relationship, this can bring some new stimulation, some new spice into that relationship for you. Now on the 10th of the month, we've got a full moon happening in Aquarius. And this is happening for you Libras in your fifth house. So the fifth house is all about romance. So again, romance is playing strongly into this month's uh, astrology. It's also Aquarius is a very favourable sign to yours. It's another air sign. It's also very favourable for anything connected with children and also anything connected with your creativity. In fact, it's probably going to shine a light on these areas for you maybe to look at, well, am I doing what I enjoy? Is it giving me pleasure? Would I like to do more sports, more exercise? What are the things I'd like to do that give me pleasure? And this full moon is asking you to have a good look at it. Because all too often, Libras, you tend to look at what the other person wants. Oh, well, what would you like? And you're compromising and you're trying to almost like contort yourself to please everybody. No, this full moon is about pleasing yourself with what makes you happy. On the 13th of August, we've got Venus, your ruling planet, coming into Leo, also in this 11th house. So there's a lot of focus this month for you, Libra, on your friends. This could bring a really nice friend coming in or a new organisation that you join, that you're really excited about. Um, you maybe just go dancing with some friends and it's really fun and you kind of like enlarge that circle. It's a great time for enlarging your circle. So if you haven't got many friends, this is a great time for opening up and reaching out to more people. It's also a great time um, for reaching out in terms of our social networking as well. This 11th house, I feel, rules our social networks. So how can you reach out? How can you connect with more people? You are an air sign. You are the sign of partnership. And you do want to hold hands with somebody or a few people through your life. Now on the 16th of August, we've got Mercury coming into your 12th house. And this is a time very much of really reflecting on your life, allowing yourself some quiet time, because you're sure as hell are going to be busy with all this um, activity with friends and social circle going on this month. But it's important for the second part of the month that you allow yourself some quiet time just to uh, meditate, to try to analyse your dreams, the messages, 
that are coming through in those dreams and it's a wonderful time for doing anything in the metaphysical area like astrology or tarot or anything like that. Now on the 18th of the August we've got an exact conjunction with your ruler Venus conjunct to Jupiter. So these two are the most benefic gentle planets and when they come together it's often some good news so this could be good news about a friend or that you meet somebody new that you feel very excited about maybe that you could do business with or even get into a relationship with um, or that a dream that you've wanted for a long time looks as though something could happen it's also since it's your ruler you might want to buy a lottery ticket because it can just be very lucky when Venus and Jupiter come together. It's very brief, it's only on the 18th of August, so make the most of it. On the 24th of August, we've got the Sun joining Mercury into your 12th house, and on the 25th, we have a new moon in Virgo, and this is also in your 12th house. So what's happening here, Libras, is that we're in the build-up time towards the end of this month, it's coming to your birthday soon. So it's very important to think about the new moon, new beginnings. What do you want for the new beginnings when the sun comes into your sign? What do you want for yourself? What do you feel you've achieved this year? Where do you feel you could improve a little bit on what you've done so far? And it's a time for maybe new ways of getting in touch with the spiritual side of you, of finding meaning in your life of finding meaning in your relationships. This is what is being triggered by these planets at the very end of the month, towards the end of the month, coming into this 12th house. And very important to try to pay attention to your dreams. They've probably got some important messages. It's also a good time for doing something behind the scenes, for doing research. Very good for getting research done and finding out some important information that could be very useful because then uh, next month when Mercury comes into your sign you might be able to use that information that you've found. So really worth doing that. Um, for the last couple of weeks of the month we do have this somewhat challenging aspect of Saturn conjunct Mars and it's in your second house of finance. Now Mars wants to go ahead and move and act and Saturn wants to say now wait a minute are you sure this is the right action? Do you have a structure in place? Are you being sensible? So for you here in your house of finance, I'd say be careful about being impulsive with your finances. Saturn wants to make sure you've got a budget, you're being structured, you've got a strategy, and you're being sensible. Now, the advantage of the Saturn aspect is that it helps you to focus. So don't lose heart with it. Just know that if you're feeling impulsive, try to take some deep breaths, hold yourself back and say, is this really necessary? Do I really need to spend this much money on it? But if you will focus on one important thing, one important financial goal, this Saturn energy will help you to achieve it. So we're balancing for the last couple of weeks of the month this Saturn um, and Mars energy, and of course we've got this Jupiter Venus energy which is the very beneficent energy that's helping things along very nicely. So there you have it Libras, thank you for subscribing, commenting, sharing. Bye for now.